Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have the third whiskey in a row of three from the Weems family, um, which is called the Pete Chimney, 12 years old, 40% ABV, I'm afraid artificially colored. And uh, I said a lot about the Weems family and uh, blending of malt whiskies, not uh, to mix up with blended scotch whiskies, where grain whiskies in. So have a look at the hive and the uh, Spice King I tasted uh, shortly before this one. Um, here is said, uh, handcrafted whiskey noted for its rich smokiness. And here you see the peat chimney as, a, as an icon down here. Well made. Blended together to create a malt whiskey noted for its rich smokiness. Yeah. <clears throat> It is said that this whiskey also consists of 16 different malt whiskies, malt whiskies from different distilleries, from 16 different distilleries. And one of the lead malts should come from the Isle of Isla, where the most peated whiskies come from. And uh, which distillery might it be? The distillery is from Isla South Coast like Artbeck, Lafroy, Lagavulin, they won't sell casks any longer for long years. So uh, there's often said there are independent bottlings of Lagavulin, uh, Lagavulin. Uh, but most of those tales are wrong. Uh, you might have an imagination that there is a Lagavulin in those glasses, but uh, they do not sell casks. No, nope, none. Um, Beaumont, in the center of the Isle of Isla, they are selling casks, they sold casks. I don't know whether they are selling still casks, but when they stopped producing blends, they got an excess of casks and they sold to independent bottlers. So Beaumont is out on the market, even 12 years old in the moment, as independent. Uh, casks and Kalila, no, belongs also to uh, the big Diageo corporation which uses all the smoky, peaty uh, Kalila whiskey for their Johnny Walker and Jane B brands. So there's no cask to, to give away to independent bottlers. Bunahaven, Bunahaven uh, stood still for quite years, were sold. And uh, they sold heavily peated casks to independent bottlers. And my guess is it might either be Beaumont or Bunahaven. I don't know which one it will be. Um, but as a lead malt mixed into 15 other uh, malt whiskies from different distilleries, uh, it would be perfect to give a distinct peat rich, smoke rich aroma. Um, to a blended malt whiskey. Definitely smoke, but not too much. There's always this, this narrow gap between too heavily smoky and too few smoky. If you look at the, uh, the big blends where uh, smoky whiskies malt whiskies are mixed in, then you have typically between 15 and 35% malt whiskies, and the rest is grain whiskey, which is quite neutral uh, if it's very young. Um, and this 15 to 35% is mixed between smoky whiskies and non-smoky whiskies, so we have perhaps 5% smoky whiskies in those blends, which is very few. Uh, and if you're mixing a blended malt, so completely malt whiskey, no grain whiskies, and you have a lead malt which is heavily peated, then you're able, you're able to have more peat in the aroma. And here you have PPM 
15, 20, 25, not more than 25, no. 15 to 20. And fruitiness. A little medicinal smoke. Sweet smoke, yes. A little seashore, earthiness. Smooth with a spicy touch. And the peat, the smoke is stays in your mouth, is covering your teeth. You very rarely find this. Not too much of oak, no, not too spicy. Sweet smoke, best described, yes. Nuts and spice. Not really. Yeah. Wonderfully mixed. Stay tuned. There are different malls to come. Feel free to discuss this video with me on our newly opened forum. And feel free to share this video with your friends.